whatever you're watching do on your screen. Happy Friday morning, everybody. This is what we deal with here. Ken Clark yelling at me for shooting my video blog here at my desk. <laughs> What's the problem? Good morning. <laughs> Happy Friday, man. We've got some coffee going on. We've got some, uh, some stories that we're covering. It's a busy Friday morning, of course. What's that? That is mine. Where, where was that? You know, the other day, things got kind of lost track of my shoe. Whose is this, really, though? <laughs> Brooke, is this yours? Yes. <laughs> there we go. We'll just, it'll be right there. It'll be right there. All right, so on to uh, some serious topics here. Of course, lots of stuff going on tomorrow, the one-year anniversary of the Aurora Theater shooting. And today we have two protests happening. We'll tell you where they're happening and what the two sides are uh, demonstrating today and also what's planned for tomorrow because there is a lot planned to remember those who uh, were killed or hurt in the uh, theater shooting and, uh, and just remember what happened and, and figure out ways to kind of move forward from this. Also, uh, Detroit... Bankrupt. Have you heard about this? The city of Detroit is just bankrupt, and they are out billions of dollars. What does this mean, and how is Howdy Doody involved in all of this? We'll have that. you got to hear that. Interesting stuff. Also, could transportation of the future involve tubes? We're talking traveling in a pod, similar to that little tube at the bank, when you put your check in, close the door, and... Whoosh, you know what I'm talking about. Could you imagine traveling? They're saying 350 miles per hour, Colorado Springs to Denver in minutes. You could go up to 4,000 miles per hour if you're traveling internationally. And a company right here in Colorado is developing this. They say it's actually cheaper to build than things like a bullet train. They say it's a lot cheaper to build. But what's holding it back? Well, we'll tell you all that. And then on top of that, the ice cream man on your smartphone. Uber, the company that uh, delivers a driver to your door with a smartphone app, has a special thing going on just today, uh, multiple cities across the country, Denver included, where you can order the ice cream truck on your smartphone. We'll have the details on that, how you can do it, uh, what the minimum is, because you do have to buy a minimum amount of ice cream, but it's not that bad. We'll, we'll break it down for you. We've got all that and a whole lot more. We're on TV from 5 until 9 on Fox 31 Denver. Good day, Colorado. Happy Friday, everybody. We hope to see you on TV. I hope you have a great weekend.